Yeah, Max. So going further in on that, like, do you think the future of energy is a lot of more oil and gas? Like I know a lot of people talk about, you know, going green, wind and solar and, you know, like people, places like Europe have had major issues trying to make that transition. What do you think the energy mix will look like, you know, over the next 10, 20 years? It's a complicated question. I think the easiest thing is to put some numbers around it. So, you know, we hear a lot about electrifying everything, but right now electricity is only about 18 to 20% worldwide of current energy usage. So, um, you know, a lot of what we use oil and gas for is industrial purposes, uh, things like cement and steel, uh, things like ammonia is a huge, uh, which makes fertilizers is how we, you know, feed the planet. Um, you've got uh, power generation, is a big one. Uh, plastics use a lot of energy to make plastics and things like that. So there's a lot of things that won't easily be replaced or may never be replaced. I mean, I did a video the other day said, you know, we'll never completely eliminate it. Um, but you're certainly seeing the trend of wanting to do more renewables. And I think it's interesting. The, the main thing is like, there's two things, there's renewables and the power gen side. And then there's uh, the automotive or transportation industry. And this is really where you know, the policymakers and the people that want to switch to kind of a more uh, greener, different uh, style of energy have focused on because there's so much demand uh, for gasoline. And so the thesis is basically we'll switch all the cars to electric, and then we'll switch all the electricity generation to uh, renewables. And then that will make it to where, you know, we take a huge chunk out of worldwide oil demand. And it's just going to be a challenge. I think today, uh, the total EVs on the market are around uh, I want to say like 27 million EVs out of about a billion cars on the road. So it's about two, uh, 2.7% of the total car fleet. Now that wedge is growing. Um, you know, all the major, major automotive uh, manufacturers have come out and said they've got these big EV plans. And now what you're seeing though, is that uh, the spike in commodity prices is really making uh, that challenging because these cars are getting more and more expensive. Like you have to use hydrocarbons to mine the batteries or the raw materials to make the batteries for these cars. You have to have healthy supply chains uh, to ramp up new products. And so I think there will continue to be uh, a shift to EV, but it's gotta be you know a realistic approach. And then the other thing is it has to meet consumer demand. I mean, like you can't just top down and say, hey, by the way, we're gonna change everything over to electric vehicles, you know, people actually have to want to buy them. And so it seems like you read a lot of things like there's a healthy demand for EV, uh, but we'll see. I mean, until they can, you know, have them charge uh, quicker, until they can have them have a longer range, I think it's going to be hard to have widespread adoption. And the other thing is the price point has to come down. I mean, historically, uh, EVs have been luxury cars. Like the majority of EVs sold in America have been Teslas. I can't remember the exact price point, but it's in the luxury car range. So it's really been uh, not to be cynical, it's been a lot of taxpayer dollars to subsidize uh, high-end luxury vehicles for the ultra-rich. Uh, so far, that's been the movement. Now, moving forward, they say that the prices are going to plummet. It's going to be the every man's car. We just haven't seen that yet. And so, and then the other side is renewables. And I think renewables will continue to have penetration on the grid, but they cause problems as well. Maybe Bitcoin mining can smooth some of it out. Uh, I think some of that's a meme. I think some of it's really happening. But Renewables need backup. You know, you need reliable energy. I think that uh, the renewable story is really kind of a bullish natural gas story, in my opinion. Should be bullish nuclear, but I don't know when uh, the regulatory bodies will get on board to, you know, expedite nuclear facilities. But that is really, in my opinion, uh, moving to nuclear, uh, moving to lower carbon uh, energy sources like natural gas. I mean, there's a lot we can do to meet a lot of the stated kind of CO2 reduction goals. A lot of that we can do just with existing technology. Like we don't have to invent a new type of battery. Uh, we can just, you know, switch everything to nat gas and, you know, build new nuclear facilities and lower the emissions to the, to the rate that we need to. And I think last point on this is that the U.S. is leading the world. We've actually uh, peaked in emissions around the beginning of the shale revolution. So uh, you don't hear this a lot, but when we invented this better way to drill, we got all this new natural gas, which flooded the market, which incentivized people to switch from coal to natural gas. So our emissions have been dropping pretty rapidly since 2005. In fact, we're leading the world and we did it through uh, fracking gas wells, not through renewables. I think like 60 something percent of the emission redu emissions reductions have been through natural gas switching. And there's a recent slide from EQT where they said that if we just replaced all the coal plants, it would reduce uh, it, around the world with LNG it would reduce emissions by more than replacing all the cars in the U S with EV and putting rooftop solar on every house and 
uh, installing, I think, 57,000 uh, wind turbines. So there's things we can do, and I think uh, to lower emissions, and I think that uh, natural gas is going to play a critical role in that because it's already happening. So uh, kind of a narrative violation, but uh, but I think it's going to trend more towards that. Not that there's not going to be renewables, not that there's not going to be EVs, but I think we can use existing technology and get a long ways towards the goals. Thanks.